and welcome to your daily love reading. This is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'll tip you down here. We're going to do it by Zodiac with male and female clarifiers. So we'll get started right away. Let's we'll start with Cancer. All right. Cancer, your card of the day is milk and honey. Could be dealing with an air sign because they were enjoying the milk and honey too. Bottom of the deck is blessed. Can't get much better than that, Cancer. All right, let's see what your guys' energy is. The Two of Wands. Your person's energy. The King of Cups. Advice for you today is the Two of Cups. Well, no kidding. No wonder why you're enjoying that milk and honey. Let's see it. Potential outcome of the day is the Hermit and the Six of Cups. All right, Cancer Males. So you have been waiting for this opportunity to move forward. You've been wanting to uh, take a new, a new path, a new road. You could be waiting for somebody, but here is your opportunity. Your opportunity is presented in front of you today. Um, there is something that's going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, celebration with your friends. Um, the person that you are dealing with, they're very balanced in their emotions. They may not speak it, but you too feel it. You can say something without even saying a word to each other. Um, yeah, they're no longer silent about their feelings for you. They're getting out of this um, emotional, you know, the King of Cups does not speak of their emotions. Um, however, in the upright, they are balanced. They are there. They are very deep and passionate, but, um, they weren't allowing their emotions to lead their life. That is no longer the case. There's a new opportunity for you guys. Things are turning around for you with the sun, the happiest card in the deck. This is an amazing day for you. Enjoy each other's company. Enjoy the love that the two of you share. I don't even know how you can get any better than this one, Cancer. You are truly enjoying the small things in life, the big things in life. Um, you could be uh, spending time secluded with your children. could be um, spending time together, alone, getting away from the world, and just enjoying each other. Um, a lot of you, this does have to do with family. Um, my God, Cancer Males, I just don't even really have anything to say. The cards say it all. This is a gift from God. This is by you choosing which direction you want to go, by you taking the lead, your person is going to get out of a place of being emotionally stuck, not speaking their feelings. This is huge for you guys. Moving in a new direction, enjoying each other's company, and building a family together. Allowing the two of you to be secluded and spend time um, with just each other is going to be the perfect day for you cancers what a great day for you guys i just i honestly really have nothing more to say for you cancer males females you guys are waiting on somebody i feel yep waiting <laughs> i just said that waiting for this person to come to your come in your direction waiting for the two of you to get this underway um you have been putting in a lot of time and effort on yourself you've been patient um this person does have a deep, deep love for you. Let's see what's going on with them. The world. They had to finish some things up before the two of you could move forward. They are coming to that completion point. This is what's making you so happy. This is why the two of you are able to enjoy the day together. They are wrapping something up. They are coming full circle. Um, this is going to move forward. Um, so focus on the feelings and the love you have for each other because this is moving in an amazing direction um, with the star and the page of swords. Getting a message tell this person how you feel they are going to tell you when you open up as well this is this is most definitely a healing energy the two of you have um there could have been some hurt in the past that's being all healed this is a wish coming true cancers you just you are having an awesome day two of cups is clarifying your hermit and your six of cups you two are secluding yourselves as well the two of you are spending time alone together you're you know, reminiscing, speaking of, you know, the memories that the two of you share. This is a beautiful day for you guys. Cancers all the way around. 
you guys are going to have an amazing Thursday. Make sure you focus on the love and not the hurt. And uh, take that time to lock yourself away with your partner because it looks like it's going to be a damn good time. So, Cancers, I really have nothing negative to say about your day. You're really getting out of a place of being stuck. You're finally finding that healing with each other. Um, the two of you could be um, working to start uh, some sort of business healing, you know, in the healing business. Things are just really turning in your favor for you, Cancerians, which is amazing because you guys have been going through a very, very difficult emotional cycle this year. So, all right, Pisces, the fates. Something is in the stars for you guys. Let's see what it is. Pisces, your guys' energy. Pisces. Pisces, please. Thank you. The Five of Swords. The person you're dealing with is the Ten of Wands. Whoa. I'm going to take that Four of Swords because it is the only one that flipped up for your advice. And the potential outcome for the day it is the Seven of Wands. Okay, so Pisces, you guys have kind of a little bit of a hiccup in the week today. Um, with the Five of Swords, you're you're in a never-ending battle with either yourself or somebody else. Pisces men, what's going on here? You're willing to win at all costs. The, the Prince of Pentacles. Yeah, you're more focused on finances right now than than love. Um, there is something faded coming in for you. Wow, the King of Wands with the Ten of Wands. So there is a lot of heated passion, a lot of arguments, a lot of heaviness to this connection. You are thinking about moving, taking your one pinnacle and moving forward, moving on. Spirit's advice for you today is to take some time to yourself to heal. Um, bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords with that. So healing your mind, body, and soul. Taking some time to hear your own voice. What's meant for you is coming for you. Yeah, with the Princess of Wands. A lot of immature communication is coming in. Um, you need to heal from that. You need to sever this connection um, that's not serving you uh, to your highest good. There's a lot of on the defense here. A lot of you know conflict, heaviness, judgment. Yeah, you're hearing the wake-up call, Pisces men. I do feel that you are going to cut yourself away from the situation. Something faded for you is coming in, but you have to complete this cycle first. This is a karmic cycle. You're dealing with a karmic partner, um, and you are going to, for the majority of you, release that heaviness. You're going to take some time to yourself and hear, take the time to hear your inner voice to see what it is that you truly want to do moving forward, um, because this is a lot of on the defense, a lot of, you know, very, uh, very combative, or not combative, but very con conflictive energies here all right whoo pisces females why is the five of swords here for pisces okay you have death in the chariot you also are moving on this is the end of a karmic cycle for you as well every new beginning comes from another end um you are moving towards healing the next card is the star which will bring you that healing you are going through a huge transformation. You're protected by the universe. It's time to um, release whatever energy is constantly at conflict with you. That could be within yourself, and that's what you need to heal, Pisces. Why is the Ten of Wands here? There was somebody, yeah, there was somebody who was not telling you the truth, not communicating with you. Um, they felt this connection was a burden, um, and that's why it needs to be released, Pisces females. Um, you will know if this is for you because you're not in communication with this person. Um, there's a lot of heaviness, a lot of conflict. Yeah, it's time to release that. It's time to heal from that. No longer, um, you know, this is, you know, doing what's best for you and finding that healing. Um, because you're tired of the fight. You're tired of constantly battling um, in this connection. Yeah, so you're going to make a head over heart decision and you're going to decide to um, fight a battle on your own. You're going to release for this group of you um, the person who is constantly um, constantly winning at all costs. You are moving forward. This is two major arcana. This is a big day for you for decisions. So really take the time to 
um, listen to your own inner voice. This is faded. This is a karmic cycle that you need to take a lesson from this and move forward. Find that healing. You're moving towards healing, but you need to take the lesson with you. Ask yourself, why did this relationship happen? What, what about this relationship was, what am I supposed to take from this? Because you are coming out of that heavy, heavy, um, karmic cycle that you are in with this person. So, all right, Pisces, kind of a difficult day for you guys, but it's only one day. You'll get through it and <clears throat> just really take the time to listen to yourself today. Sit in, you know, silence. Take some time to yourself, you know, rest, get some R&R, &R, and really kind of try to sort through your emotions and, and see what it is that you're meant to take with you out of that situation. All right, Scorpios. You have breathed. All right, let's see what's going on for you Scorpios here. Scorpio. You guys have six of pentacles. Spending some time with yourself, thinking back, memories, investing in what you want in the future. The other person is the hermit. They're in some silence. They're in silence right now because they're at a crossroads. The Knight of Pentacles. All right. Scorpio men. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? So you're finding balance within yourself. You're really learning where to put your focus. Um, yeah, you're really taking some time to yourself. You're healing. You're doing it in the right way. Um, you could be meditating. You could be, um, you know, just really sitting with yourself in this beautiful energy. And you're learning where it is that you need to focus to bring that happiness, to bring that healing. The person you're dealing with is the Ten of Pentacles and the Hermit. So you could be dealing with somebody who is already in a family situation, um, men. Um, and truly, you're at a crossroads. What to do? The King of Cups, you need to follow your heart. You need to take that time to breathe. You need to take that time to decide what is next because you're ready to move forward and offer um, your love, offer yourself, offer your pentacle, attention, time, you know, to somebody of your past. You, This is a reconciliation for a lot of you, um, but you're, today you're just in your thoughts. You are, yeah, today you're remaining single, but you are in deep thought about this person. You're in the memories of them. Breathe through this. Decide what you're going to do next. Uh, Scorpio, today's not a day of action. It's a day of, uh, you know, spending time with yourself and seeing where to go from here. Whoops. All right. Scorpio females. What's the six pentacles here for? You most definitely are spending time out in nature for a lot of you, um, deciding what to do next. Um, you are really, really trying to find that balance. Um, so you can bring in a healthy relationship with the hermit as the empress. So you could, or you could have a third party. This could be your third party, or this is a mother. You could have a same sex relationship, or, um, this person is with somebody else and you're just thinking a lot about them. What's the two of wands here? What's the advice here? Two of wands with the two of wands. Wow. Okay. So you're going to make a head over heart decision as well. You're taking action. You're wanting to, uh, you're wanting to pick a path and you want this person to come with you. Your advice is to really, uh, decide where it is that you want to move. Where, where can you invest where it's going to bring you out the, you know, the biggest outcome where you're going to be able to build a family. Some of you are cutting away from a family situation. Um, you are choosing a lover. You are choosing, you have the third party and you are choosing the third party and, um, cutting yourself away from this family situation, Scorpio. You are going to offer your, uh, wow, this is a new beginning for you guys. You are going to offer or get an offer or have that offer come in Scorpio females where this is, this is from the hand of God. This is a deep rooted situation where it's going to grow. It's going to take some time. It's going to go slow, but it is going to grow into that 10 of pentacles. So you need to take action and move towards that situation where you know what path you're meant to take. You know, somebody kept you waiting though, um, or you kept them waiting Scorpio females, but there is a decision being made. Um, and either you're choosing the third party 
or the third party is choosing the other person and you need to um, move forward and invest where a new opportunity will be. So just breathe. Just breathe. If they chose the other person, breathe. You have somebody else coming in who is amazing. If you have the third party and you're choosing your third party, um, it's going to go slow. It's going to move slow, but it is going to grow into something um, bigger. But it's time to take action. It's time to, time to choose a path because the lovers is here. So the angels are here to help you get through this situation. And they will help lead you and guide you to the place you need to be. So Scorpios, I hope you have a beautiful day. Remember to just breathe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless.